The other big story right now, and it most likely affected you this morning's computer chaos. Much of the globe is slowly getting back online after what could be the largest IT outage in history. The so-called blue screen of death popped up on computers worldwide, hitting airports, banks, and even some 911 response systems. We have learned that a faulty software update is to blame. Megan Hickey joins us now. And Megan, you talked to experts about how something like this happens and also how we can keep it from happening again. Right, Jim and Marie, as we now know, the worldwide computer outage is linked to the cybersecurity firm CrowdStrike, which provides antivirus software to Microsoft for its Windows devices. CrowdStrike was quick to tell its customers this was not a cyber attack. The issue has been identified and a fix has been deployed, but a lot of the damage has unfortunately already been done. The company didn't provide a time frame on how quickly IT systems could be restored, and many companies and organizations around the world have had to rely on their own technology departments to get systems back up and running. Former NSA hacker and current CEO of the cybersecurity firm Huntress, Kyle Hansloven, tells CBS News Chicago that the timing of the update is concerning to him. Best practice is usually not to roll out an update like this at the end of the week when it, staffing might not be as robust for IT. He said that vulnerability is often why ransom ha ransomware hackers attack on Friday nights around 5 p.m. It's even known by hackers that this is a sensitive time. So I think the first question is, why did this go out late on a Thursday for some international parties, you know, early Friday morning? The next one is usually you do this in phased distribution. You know, you kind of slow trickle. But considering how many different parties are impacted, what seems all at once, there might be some questions of did that best practice happen? And Hans Levin says, unfortunately, it's going to be a case by case basis for a lot of these businesses getting back online. We're also learning that some phishing emails are currently circulating, claiming to be from CrowdStrike support or CrowdStrike security, trying to take advantage of this outage. More on what that means and what our viewers should know coming up on CBS News Chicago at five. Mm -hmm. Well, the scope just seems mm -hmm. to continue to grow. Thank you, Megan. Thank you.